What's up, Internet? We are here in the town yet again, experiencing life in the purest form possible through the eyes of a Nintendo GameCube. Or a Wii imitating one, anyway. Uh, we've got to go get ourselves a KK Slider song, and I've selected several, as I do, so now we got to figure out exactly which one I don't have based on the ones that I picked that sounded like ones I didn't have. So let's take a look at our library. Let's see what the first one I have is. Okay. Let's see if we have that one yet. Yes, okay, so we've got KK Tango. I'll cut that. Time to figure out what the next one is. Start back up here, because I don't remember stuff to save my life. I like that I can hear the decoys, even though, like, the world has theoretically frozen. Kind of nice. Oh, we're getting close to the end. I think we've picked our song. Yes, we have. Let's go talk to Mr. Casey Slider and slide some KKs. I do have an inventory space, so we can at least get an air check. So, let's get ourselves an audio clip. There is something specific I'd like, Mr. Slider. We want... K period, K period, space... C... A... S... E... A... H. Let's try it out. a brand new song we don't have in our radio. So, of course our next plan of attack is to go slam that bad boy in the radio and add it to our repertoire, even though we already have our custom awesome theme song that is KK Cruisin'. Alright, so let's see. We can sell that elephant slide, so I think we will. I think that's about all the inventory space we can take up because we have so many crappy fish. Wait right there, train. No, 
don't pull away, I need to board you. Well, I guess we're waiting here for a while. Well, it actually does take quite an uncomfortable amount of time to have to wait for that. But, the important thing, we got ourselves a train. And off we go. Go do train related activities. Actually, there's not a lot we can do on a train. Trains are boring. Still. Gotta deal with this guy. One of the worst cats ever conceived. Rover. One that never says anything interesting or anything new. Forgets that you've ever talked to him a day later. And never, ever, ever says anything different. You have a terrible memory, Rover, for everything. You're boring. That's coming from me. Which truly must be the greatest insult of all. Alright, so let's sell a bunch of our really crap fish. And it's raining, so that means we might find really awesome fish. That'd be kind of nice. Alright, Mr. Nook, I've got a bunch of really awful fish I need to sell you. And this slide. And this floor. And this one actually good fish. And all of that we didn't even make 10,000 bells. That's how little those sea bass are worth. Oh, they're so bad. Alright, so we need that. We need this. And we need this. Now let's see if we get anything interesting. Nope. Well, there's one fossil. One good fossil and two paperweights. Not the best turnout. I've seen worse, though. That's the important thing. It's not as bad as it possibly could have been. Alright. We only have, like, five more days of buying candy. I'm not sure we even have that kind of space, but still... We need as much candy as we possibly can get. It's important. Let's see what's in the dump today. We have Skyline paper. And a big dot shirt, which I believe is the original background of the menu. Yep. In fact, for the sake of a little bit of nostalgia, let's experience that for a moment. Classic. But, it's more of an eyesore than anything. Really, I think the twinkle background is probably like the best one you can get. Alright. Let's talk to our old pal Velma. See if she needs something that isn't a bug in the middle of the rain again. Oh, I guess not. Time to go down the list of everyone we can talk to. Someone must need something. And we'll be there to help, because we're just super helpful like that. Because that's the cornerstone of being nice. Just helping where you can. Pierce buried his favorite thing in C1. Well, perhaps we need to call a temporary timeout on that. Figure out what this treasure is, because I do like treasure. And it's probably going to be a pitfall, I'm sure, but still. Maybe it won't be. Maybe I'll be surprised. 
and maybe it'll be exactly what I think it is. RNC1. Now the interesting thing... It's a blue bed. I think that was probably it. I'll keep checking. Just in case that was some weird thing I just didn't clean up or anything. Now uh, the interesting thing about treasure hunt items, in addition to being stupid pitfalls such as ruin your life and break your leg, they actually pull from the same pool of items you can get from Crazy Red as well as Nook's Lottery. And that's why you can get NES games for this. Which means, theoretically, it could be possible to get the one painting we still need from this. But I think that blue bed probably was it. I'm pretty sure the blue bed is a crazy red item. I don't think we... He buried a hundred bells. I could be wrong. Maybe a hundred bells is his favorite thing, though. But either way, we got a blue bed out of it. Let me see if Bacon Eyebrows, the pelican's around. Or coelacanths. Both are acceptable. I'm gonna fish that up and it's probably gonna be a sea bass. I'm just confident enough to say that. Let's find out if I'm right. Or not. Because I'm impatient. Right here. But... We did find at least a little bit of treasure, so that's something. Wendell! I would love to give you a fish, but I don't have a fish to give you immediately. Give me a few minutes and I will get you a fish. I just gotta, you know, find one. That's, that's the important prerequisite. Come on, sea bass. This is like the one time you're useful, and even then, I bet Wendell doesn't really appreciate you all that much. Oh, of course. One time I needed to not be a sea bass. Or one time I wanted to be a sea bass, it's not. That is just life right there. Come on. Really? I mean, last night it was nothing but sea bass. And now it's anything but... And I don't really want to give Wendell something I can actually sell for something. Because that's just sensibility. <laughs> this is how this is going to be. It's it's that we're not going to end up being able to catch a sea bass at all. But we'll make a lot of bells today. We'll just never get anything from Wendell. But it's because we won't get anything from Wendell that we'll make a lot of bells. So I guess it's... It's a worthwhile trade, I guess. Come on. <laughs> this is comical. These things are not that common to find. Alright. Let's see what this one is. Or not. I'm impatient. Alright, let's try this with this one. Come on, you've gotta be a sea bass, right? You just, you gotta. If you're not a sea bass, that just makes this one giant cosmic joke. Or you're a boot. Still can't do anything about Wendell, though. Not a common thing to catch, either, so. And also Wendell left. Alas. <laughs> Got another snapper. Still missing out on like the most common fish in the game, but I got another snapper. I'm not complaining, I'm just thoroughly confused. Oop. Don't go with that one. This one's gotta be a sea bass. Just has to. 
It's got it. And then we'll be able to take it to Wendell. It's a knife job. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> this is what this is gonna be like. This is kind of amazing. It's fishing for the cheapest, easiest to catch fish that you can for about 10 minutes straight and not finding it. It. This is just bizarre. I guess I should go sell all this stuff. I mean, I just, I want to give Wendell the cheapest thing I can. And I'm catching all the rare fish. Like, this, this is baffling. I mean, I think knife jaws and red snappers are like a 15% chance of spawning altogether. And then everything else is sea bass, and, you know, I can't find a sea bass. What the hell is up with that? It's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. That includes seeing a mare spawn on the train tracks because reasons. Seeing random villagers spin around on spots and levitate above signs. This game is weird. I've made 30,000 bells out of just fish. And not one of them was a coelacanth, which is like the most baffling thing about this. This is just weird. I've, I've never had trouble catching a sea bass before. I mean, on the bright side, this is great for trying to work towards the piggy bank reward, but just weird to try and get the freaking wallpaper from Wendell. on the other side of the acre. Can't get to it. Okay, that's gotta be a sea bass. Yay! That only took 15 minutes. I gotta figure out where Wendell is. That was the most bizarre string of not finding the easiest to catch fish in the game I've ever seen. I think I see Wendell. Yep, I see him too. <laughs> there have been reported sightings. He might be behind me. I'm not going to check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like you should modify that text box a little to explain that he's in this acre. That just seems weird that that's not addressed. This is a fish. If we're gonna get some kind of like crappy construction wallpaper, I'm sure. Alright, what'd we get? Tree line wall. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Let's get rid of this. Maybe someone needs something while we wander around trying to catch other fish that should not be as hard to catch as they are. Nothing from Camo Frog. That's okay, I guess. Oh, cute. Let's find out if Cube needs a thing. A videotape. From Spike. That's alright. Clean this up a little bit. As we go up to spikes, we will see. We can find a coelacanth. Or just no fish whatsoever. Hmm. That shouldn't be the case. It probably just spawns somewhere where we can't see it. Or there. Come on. Fishy fish. Patient enough for this. I 
I mean, last night all I managed to catch was sea bass, so I guess it's nice that this is balancing it out a little. But it should not be statistically happening this way anyway. It just doesn't make sense. Not that I'm gonna complain. I caught the ground. I turned into a fish. I guess I'd make it a mud skipper or something. It'd be an axolotl. Well, I don't believe those are salt water. Axolotls are neat. There needs to be more in Animal Crossing. I mean, there's only one, as far as I know. Ah, Spike's not in. That makes things difficult for us. There's a cookie. Also pangolins. There should be pangolins in this game, I think. There's plenty of anteaters. Now they're fun armored cousins that aren't armadillos. Yeah, there's another sea bass. That's what I'm expecting. That's terrific right there. Well, he should theoretically only be within one square of where he lives. I would think. I mean, that's what this game's logic has taught me anyway. Villagers not near their house, or either by the wishing well, or they're one square away from their house, or they've teleported. But I can't really predict that. Now, one square away from their house was a split acre as well, so it could be all the way up here. Perhaps. It is not. Hmm. Maybe Tangy has something for us to do while we look. Mm. Nothing for the bizarre vitamin C cat. That's okay, I mean, I'm just looking for something to kill time until we find Spike, but... I'd still like to have something to do. There we go, throw that away. Weber! I found a ball. Do you need a ball? Because I see a ball. I can deliver to you to that. No problem whatsoever. Well, if someone down here needs a ball, we'd at least know where it is. And then we can complain because the ball in this game is the worst thing ever. But at least, ideally, we won't have to make it go up a hill and across a river because that is like the worst thing ever. Because ball physics were not well thought out in this game. Nor were they well tested. They're just kind of a thing. Oh, right, I need to do a thing. I have to find Spike, but I don't know where he is, Cube. Draw me a map. Give me a radar or something. It would be very helpful. I don't think... I was about to say, I don't think Spike would be in the museum, because he doesn't like museum stuff, I wouldn't think. And yet, here he is. I guess he's more of an intellectual than I thought. I'm sorry to judge you so harshly, Spike. Thank you for the videotape. Also, thank you for not making me go through 12 people to deliver it. That, too, is very much appreciated. Thanks for you, Cube. He'll sleep soundly knowing he got his videotape back. I guess he's using it as a pillow. That wouldn't be very comfortable, though. Fur here shirt. That's a stupid shirt. And it doesn't look like a big scary ladybug. You need something, Camo Frog. Not a thing for Camo Frog, but that's okay, but... Really... I would like to do more stuff for Camo Frog. Seems like a guy who needs a bunch of stuff done. 
I have time to do stuff for people. Alright, Ace. You need something? That's okay, but still. Part of me wonders if they, as like a flag to another person's quest, they just actively don't ask even if you've never accepted another villager's quest. Like they automatically flag them off or something. I mean, there should always be at least one or two quests available, but... It's weird how often you just get turned down by people. Numerically speaking, that shouldn't be the case. But it is. Hey, something I can do. Ah, uh, it's obligatory to deliver a thing to Pearl. She left her entire house behind. Well, that's fine, I guess. Although, seriously, just, you know, go around, round up everything she left, and I'll take it all to her at once, because it's been six months. And finding something new every single day is a little bit annoying. Feels like you're just doing this for the sake of keeping into contact with Pearl. Okay, well, at least I've got some inventory space. I need something, Caesar. Glasses to Goldie. I think I've seen Goldie today. Let's find her. Hopefully she hasn't spawned into a wall. As she has been known to in the past. You know, even now I feel like there should still be the Bomberman poster I put up here, but it's just not there. It's weird that even now I feel like it should be there. Well, I know what Camo Frog is. Alright, I'll go bug him about stuff. To me he hasn't moved, I know where he is anyway. Alright, Camo Frog, I need glasses. Why would you even lend out your glasses? And then why would they lend out your glasses? I mean, aren't they prescription? Saying that as someone who doesn't have glasses, I'm not entirely sure, but still. I would think those would be inherently something you wouldn't want to lend out. Same with an organizer. Or a Game Boy, really. This game is just filled with stuff you wouldn't ever want to lend out that gets lent out. Got a fossil! And I've got a place I can plop it in. There we go. Alright, now I think Cookie was still around here. There she is. You could return it yourself, seeing as he lives next door to you. But, alright, fine. I will go deliver it. Around here. Go north up the hill. North and to the east. Over the bridge, and he should be here. And there he is. I have your glasses right here. Uh, I mean, that's a piece of fruit and a half, I guess. I think you could have done a little better, but that's an okay reward, I guess. I should probably just empty my pockets. Since I have the moment. Here we go and empty them once more. Allowing us to make more bells in the future. Sell, 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 sell. I don't need that tree line paper, I'll sell that too. Mm. 
unfortunately, I'm running out of inventory space again. Just because of all the money. Until I do that. And this. And now I've got tons of space. Almost like I never had a space problem to begin with. Alright. Maybe Peaches now has something for us after thinking about it. And a picture book to Spike, I can go and attempt to return it. But I'm not sure he'll have it, so this might take a little while. But I will go take a look. And he should still be by the museum. So let's go to the museum. Go get learned and stuff. Alright, well, Chow's only about 30 feet away, if that. There he is. I need a picture book, Chow. Alright, we'll go talk to the big blue bird about stuff. And I'll go around the house because I'm respectful of Goldie and her fascination with fish. Because it's good to do good things for people. Or at least not go out of your way to do horrible things to people. Like scare away the fish when people are clearly interested. There's Pierce. I would like something. I would like a peaches something and you have it. And now, go return it. The bizarre bright pink and orange donkey that we all know and love. Who has crosses for her eyes. Peach's design is just weird. I mean, Animal Crossing designs have gotten weirder over the years. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a rhinoceros that looks vaguely like a piece of cake nowadays. A few others that are based on, like, snacks and, like, references to other Nintendo games. Oh, granted, they did that in this one as well. There was, uh, Wart Jr., which is, of course, a reference to Super Mario Bros. 2. So, I mean, it's not like they're above referencing themselves from the start of Billiards Table. I used to have one of those myself. I never really used it, though. And they take up a huge amount of space. I will go talk about a glasses case. It sounds like a curiously familiar case of cases that I already took part in. Like, maybe five minutes ago. But I shall inquire about your case. Go talk to Ketzel. Current owner of the case of cases. Ketzel go. There he is. Hey, Ketzel. I need a case involving glasses. You don't have it. You know, every villager type only seems to have two responses for, like, every situation. So I can tell from, like, the start of the line whether or not they actually have the item or not. That's a sign I've played this game for too long. <laughs> Alright, let's go return this to Tangy. Ooh, this will hopefully help her nearsightedness. Or farsightedness, I'm not sure what her prescription is. I think they're probably just dress glasses she doesn't wear. That sounds like something Tangy would do. Like they're probably glasses that have like a mustache attached to them. Make her look inconspicuous. The aliens gave it to her when they first created her and sent her to this planet to spy on us. As some bizarre fruit cat alien hybrid. Alright, what did we get from her? We got Man at Work sign. Okay. 
Maybe Goldie needs something. Do you need something, Goldie? Oh, uh, not even a ball, because I know where to find one of those. Even if it is the worst quest. You know, it's bizarre, aside from the fact that he was impaling himself with his umbrella there, but he's making it sound like he's going to pay me for this quest, but it'll be Quetzal that does. I feel like there should be an extra step where you go back to the guy who gave you the quest to get paid. Granted, I appreciate the brevity of it far more than the extra finickiness that would give you. Just a little weird. Well, time to see what Quetzal's taste is, because we now have his favorite outfit of all time. The big dot shirt that we already had. Great, if you want to make your Animal Crossing menu background the default, but as we have established, the Twinkly Sky shirt is the best background. Thus making that big dot shirt completely worthless to us. Nothing for Pierce. Which is fine, I guess. Maybe Ketzel has something. As we try and skewer him with our shovel. Ah, fine pearl, right? Don't get mad at me, please. Alright. Well, you can always go ask Velma. We dig a hole there, so if she doesn't give us a quest, we can always bury her. Until she does. Actually, I guess we'd need a pitfall for that still. You know, it's weird they make an item that literally just makes your holes into things people can fall into, when theoretically they as holes should already do that. It's weird they need to make an item to necessitate that if that's really a mechanic they wanted to include in their game. Also bizarre how often it shows up as treasure when, you know, real treasure could actually be treasure. Feels like it shows up way too often. And then you go up and you look for a treasure sign on the board, and you're like, yay, and then you find out it's a pit and you're like, well, that was a waste of time. And I may have broken my ankle. Awesome. Nice. You have a quest for me. I know where Velma is. I mean, you should be able to see her from here, but yeah, I will deliver this just to get paid. Why not? There you go, Velma. That is your watch. Hey, furniture, she knows how to tip. I appreciate that. Alright, what did we get? We got ourselves a GameCube logo, hell yeah. I mean, I don't need that, but still a very cool piece of furniture. Stop lying, Cookie, it's not polite. Just means you lose all your friends when you lie, so stop it. Listen over here, are we gonna find more sea bass? I wonder. I'm not wildly expecting any sea bass, given how they don't really seem to be spawning, but let's find out. Come on. Come on, Mr. Fishy Fish. Whoopsie. I don't mean to cause you undue stress. I just want to catch you and turn you into fish sticks for profit. Knife jaw! Right. We got over here. We have a sea bass. 
Ground's starting to catch up to us. Got two more spaces, and I think we'll go back to Nook's. Head home. Uh, it's all the way over there. I haven't seen any coelacanths today. Which I guess is okay. They're not exactly common, but... I mean, the other day we did catch three in a row in about 15 minutes. But, I mean, we've also not really run into sea bass today, so... I guess it still means we're probably equally, if not more, profitable. We'll fish this up. Yeah, that's a good old sea bass. Get to nooks. To do nook related things. Like buying lots of candy for Halloween. Because that's the thing we have to do in this game. Because there are repercussions if you don't. Right. I would like to sell Mr. Nook. This, 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 this. This, 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 and also this. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, we have yellow pansies. Sweet. We have blue cosmos. Again, I think we should get at least some tickets for buying all this stuff in bulk. I mean, I get that you wouldn't necessarily want to give a ticket away for like every single piece of candy or flowers, but still, buying in bulk like this should be worth like two, maybe three. But I guess not. I'll take this. And I shall take this. And I'll be the only one with candy. I'll be laughing because people will be running around like idiots looking for candy. Because they couldn't buy any from Nooks, like a smart person. And I'll just be sitting on a mountain of candy laughing. Because no one else will be able to have candy but me. Alright, Porter, let's go. Come on, Porter, hurry! Hmm. Hurry a little bit faster, please, train. I get that you're an outdated mode of transportation, but I think you can do a little bit better. What happened to I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I think you can be a little faster. You just have to believe in yourself, train. I had a VHS lab movie when I was a kid. I mean, I'm sure it was just a you know, story before it was a movie, but I had a movie of it when I was a kid. I'm betting it was probably not very good in terms of quality, but I remember it. Also, The Rescuers, as well as the Tom and Jerry movie where they talked. Which I think is the only bit of Tom and Jerry I've ever actually had to experience, except for that one time I played the GBA game experienced a lot of Tom and Jerry, which is probably for the best, because I don't really enjoy their violence all that much. Alright, Rover. I gotta do tonight, so I think I'll probably end it here without planting the flowers. We can do that tomorrow. But uh, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night. Plus other stuff when I have the time. Hopefully we'll do some more 
Trials of Mana tomorrow. Plus I've got some Halloween stuff coming in the next week. Uh, you might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff, and not just Animal Crossing, but pretty much any type of game you can think of. I got something there for you, I'm sure, and if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is find out some bizarre fishing anomalies that somehow prevent the most common fish from spawning. I don't know, I, I still think it's probably like some kind of weird karmic balance from yesterday, but I... This game is weird. <laughs> If, if I've learned anything after playing this game for almost a year straight, Animal Crossing is a bizarre game. There's a lot of weird things that I cannot explain. But, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.